Good morning. Welcome to Life on Bear Mountain. Um, yeah, we had a little bit of an interesting early morning wake up. Right, Mike? Yep. The dog kind of yipped last night. And I, all of a sudden, we started smelling stuff. About 4 o'clock it was, I think. Um, I was in a dead sleep and woke up. <laughs> and our house was completely closed up. It's winter time. We had the furnace on. It's, it's cold outside. And that smell felt like it was that skunk was right in our bedroom. It was awful. So anyhow, we're gonna have to de-skunk our poor puppy. So really quickly, show you what they're recommending to do. It is one fourth cup of baking soda, one teaspoon of dish soap, one quart of hydro peroxide. Hydro hydrogen. Hydrogen peroxide. Sorry, I've been up since four o'clock. <laughs> so Mike, you want to mix it real quick? Um, here's a teaspoon right here, I've got it. Teaspoon. I need a cup, a quarter cup. Okay, a teaspoon of gone soap. Of this? Yeah. Quarter cup of baking soda. Oh. And they're saying don't use water because it activates the smell even more. So you're supposed to just sponge the solution onto your dog. Now we have a 120 pound Akita. Yep. So I'm thinking this batch isn't gonna be enough. Okay, a quarter cup baking soda. You wanna just double it right now? No, let's just go ahead and then I'll run in and, and make the next batch. Quarter cup of that. And then this whole. A quart of this? The whole, the whole. Yeah, is that gonna turn her blonde? She's already she, blonde. She might be blonder. <laughs> Longer, that'd be kind of cool. She'd look like an afghan. Well, today is kind of a sunny day, so we're hoping. Um, yeah, that it's 50 degrees in the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have we have all the windows open, the door open, everything is open. The the fan is going, and it is 54. I'm even got something in the oven. Hopefully, we can warm up the house. But as soon as we get her taken care of, I'm gonna close up everything and and. Maybe the smell will go away pretty quick. It says a couple of days. Marie! Marie! Get out of here! Get! Get! Now you have to wash everything off of here. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, water's the worst thing to use. Come on, Marie. Come here. Come here. And just real quick, the plan is for tonight is to set this cage with some uh, smelly food and hopefully we can catch the skunk and relocate him. This will hurt her eyes. I wouldn't get it in her eyes. I'll try to get it around her face. And you're just supposed to. Oh boy, man! It's a good thing that I'm a plumber because this is smelling it, bad. It's bad. Uh, I'm used to rinse and smell, but this is pretty bad. Hey. Woo. <laughs> nice. Is it on her face? I think that's where she got nailed. You don't have to do our whole body, you think? This part needs to be done. Probably need to make another batch. Okay, let me set this camera up. I'll go into. Okay, there's my camera. 
really was worried that he was going to get my camera wet when I walked away to get the uh, sponge, but all was good. the skunk has been visiting us for a while. In fact, we saw the skunk, what, three days ago? It was in the chicken coop. In the chicken coop, and so we very gently opened up the doors. And it was at nighttime, I was getting ready to close up my chickens. Just kind of made a few things, moved a few things, and he, he kind of just staggered out. Came in to lock him up the other night. I saw something in the corner there, a bushy tail, and I could smell something. And the chickens, the girls were coming out. They were they were agitated. Something was in here. So we moved everything and opened up. There's a little, there's a kind of a little door back there. Open that door, and the skunk did leave. And I, I assume went underneath the chicken coop and spent the night, and then got itself out during the day or during the middle of the night. Who knows? Now if I have a broken egg. can't tell it looks dirty I'll check. I don't think so though. But somebody was eating an egg a day. Here's another. And chickens do do that. Hey girls. A towel? I have a towel. Shake. I'm sure this is the problem right here is leaving the cats outside and it's just too tempting for the wild critters to come over into our property and help themselves. So yeah, feed the kitties again. We're gonna come out here and there'll be four cats, only we have three. So anyway, I did bring Bear into the studio. Um, it wasn't too bad out on the deck, the sun was shining, but you know, it's cold and um, I just as soon have her come in here. She's an old girl. She needs to dry out really well and stay warm. So she's in here um, doing some uh, dishwashing. The cat's clothes look really good now. They're all clean. Romeo's coming up to see what's going on. Evidently, Romeo can't smell anything. I don't know. Parrots might not be able to smell. And Bear's going to spend the rest of the afternoon in here with me in the studio. I'm going to work on some stuff. Hey, Romeo. What do you think? You want to get in the uh, video, don't you? You're being quiet though. Okay, it's the next morning and um, Bear spent the night with us in the house. She was still pretty wet. Oh, hey Bear. She doesn't stink anymore. No, she doesn't stink anymore. <laughs> went ahead and just uh, tripped it because Bear has been trying to get in there because of this nice smelly sardine. So I don't know Mike, do you think the trunk's going to come back or? Maybe you just got to reload. You wait a week, come back, reload, who knows. Huh Bear, does that smell so good? Yeah, she wants that stuff. Oh, what's those sardines? Horrible. So this is it for this video. Everybody have a great day and a big hug from us and see you next time. <laughs>